all right so what is up youtube today i'm coming at you guys with another video and we are going to be starting another series it's going to be called tip tuesday or tutorial tuesday um i'm not i'm not really sure which one i should name it but if you have an idea of what i should call this um just comment down in the section below and um basically what i'm going to be doing like every tuesday or thursday i'm just going to be giving you guys tips or tutorials on how to basically do anything just basic stuff i'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, videos on it but you know why not add another one so it's to help you guys or whoever's watching so um that's pretty much it let's get into it all right guys so here are all the materials you'll be needing to clean your shoe um this is just basic stuff you can find around your household which i'm pretty sure everybody has um if not you know there is other alternatives but this is what i have in my house and I'm going to be thoroughly going through each one of them and explaining to you how to use them or how they will be effective. So first off, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about, you have, of course, your soap and water. Um, you can clean anything from leather, suede, or you can't actually, you can clean suede in new book, but you would need to um, dip it in the soap and water, right, just a little bit, um, wipe it off on a damp towel, and just um, swipe down softly with a soft bristle brush toothbrush which is preferred i mean it could be any toothbrush but the soft bristles are preferred but yeah that's you can pretty much clean anything from that i mean everybody knows about that so let's move that out the way second we have uh clorox which you can clean your laces with any white laces that have stains in them i mean if you have blood stains food stains just anything you know clorox bleach or any bleach will work if you mix this water um if you do need help with that, I can make a um, video, but I'm pretty sure there are other videos on YouTube that have them right now. So, um, that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll move this out the way. And make sure you do not use this on, on your shoe. Other, the only way you can use this is on your laces. And um, you would have to use this on your laces, but make sure you wash the bleach, bleach out of the laces um, after you're done, or else they'll turn yellow. And if you use this on your shoes, it'll cause discoloration or it might actually put a hole in your shoe. I actually had a friend that used it on his, uh, he had white vans, he used bleach on his white vans, and messed them up. All right, third, um, we have some nail polish remover, which you can find at Target or something for around a dollar or two, which is um, really cheap. Um, I would have acetone, which is a, basically a stronger version of this. What this is used for is um, removing paint, of course, hence the name nail polish remover and nail polish is paint all right guys sorry about that my camera shut off i'm gonna try to make this video a little bit faster so as i was saying if you have paint on your shoes or anything basically you just grab a cotton ball or a rag dip a little bit of this nail polish remover on there and just scrub it off it'll come right off um if you want it may take a little bit longer than the pure acetone but it should work just as uh, just fine though so getting on to the next item we have lotion um, this is not mine, by the way, it's Victoria's Secret, it's my sister's, but anyways, this is commonly used on patent leather, if you do not know, if you don't know what this is, patent leather is, it's that shiny black leather you commonly see on men's, uh, dress shoes, but, uh, if your thing is looking dull and not as shiny anymore, you can just put any lotion on there and, uh, buffer it with, like, a cloth or, or anything, so, that's, that's it for that. Going on to the last items, we have a toothbrush and just a regular bristle brush. If you don't have a bristle brush, you can use the toothbrush. I mean, I use a toothbrush for smaller areas, but um, it can be used for large areas. Just may take a little bit longer, so that's the only downside if you don't have the brush, the bristle brush, the large one. But um, basically, you just dip that in soap and water, and it should work fine. Lastly, you have. Uh, a nice microfiber cloth you can find this at Costco as you can see it has Kirkland um, what's cool about this is it contains little small hooks in the microfiber that grabs onto dirt really well say you have a scuff mark you can just dip this in soap and water put your finger in it and start rubbing so that works pretty well it comes in a pack of like like uh, 30 or something like that for pretty cheap but um find these at Costco Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick video I made. Um, I'm going to try to make these every Tuesday or so. So if you have any tips or tutorials you need or want, just comment down below. Also, if you have any song suggestions, just tell me, uh, message me or comment. 
because I've been dealing with copyright strikes and it's really annoying because I have to delete the video and everything all over again. So that would really help if you did that. Um, but guys, that's pretty much it for today. Um, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more future videos. But until then, I'll see you guys. Later. <laughs>